K-I-L-R Taylor Games Hello gamers, simmers, and pilots. I am the Killer Gamer and welcome back to the tour around the world featuring X-Plane 6. How exciting, going back in time and flying from airport to airport in and, and an old classic sim just so you can get a chance to see what it was like uh, back in these days. I wasn't even aware of X-Plane <laughs> uh, <clears throat> back when this came out around 2000, 2002 or, or so. So it's it's really neat to see uh, X-Plane back uh, during its early phases. And we are flying the same exact flights of the world tour that the other flight simulators are flying. Gives you a chance to compare them, uh, compare them with each other. Uh, so you may know where we're going next, but just in case you don't, let's go ahead and talk about it. Okay, so we are here at Aurora Municipal, and we're going to make a little bit of a stop here right at Clow International. Now, the full name of Clow International has Bolingbrook, uh, and it's not, a, it's not an international airport as you would think. Uh, it's just mainly international as in... Um, Pilots from all over, you know, can land there. It's just international by name, not by size. Um, but in X Plane Five, it was not called Bolingbrook Clow uh, International. It was called uh, something else. I I forget. Um, and I'm not sure if it's like that here. Uh, we can go in here. To the uh, location and place uh, aircraft by airport and just take a look 1c5 now here it's cloud international yeah in um, X plane 5 um, Plainsville that's what it was called it was called Plainsville cloud international I don't know if that was an error um, or <laughs> Or if they had changed your name over the years, I don't know. Uh, but that is uh, where we're going to be headed. And we'll go ahead and turn on our avionics here. And we're not going to worry about following a flight plan. We're just going to go ahead and get up in the air and get going. And we can ask ATC the direction of Cloud. And we're showing, we're slowing through 250. What do you need? And we got a um, little bit of weather going on here. Cool, the landing lights actually light up. It's way up here that it lights up. You can see I can turn it off there, see that? But, um, yeah, it's pretty neat to be able to see. Oh, birds. Something. I think those are birds. Oh, those aren't birds. That's rain. It's uh, it's raining a little bit. Whoa, there's a lot of planes out there over in that direction. Heavy to 
Those are more birds. They're just kind of swarming around something. bit of a pull here. I believe that's the uh, city of Aurora up there. And look at that, it's, got, it's even got night lights too. Get some vectors there to plow. There it is. Cessna 172575 Sierra Papa turn left heading 110 vectors plow INTL. They are about 16 miles from your current position. Alright, sounds good. be a whole lot of detail in the cities but this still this is uh, pretty neat to see with the lights and everything um, x wing has been known to have uh, really good uh, night lighting I think we can see where it uh, where it all came from <laughs> This is nice, comfortable flying. We don't have an autopilot here in this Cessna. But, um, it's not too hard to control with, you know, using trim. Uh, but, if the winds are a little bit out of control, it, it does get a little hard to to fly. And if you're doing long flights, yeah, it's, then it's not so fun. <laughs> And I have all the graphic settings maxed out. But, well, you know, shouldn't be too hard to do with computers nowadays. And you can run this natively on Windows 10.
and this copy of X Plane that I got is a German version, but it's international, so you can install it with English. Um, and I just simply picked this up off of eBay. There always seems to be a copy of it when I look. Um, you are going to need global scenery, though. You'll get some scenery um, in the U.S., but it won't cover the whole world. Well, in some case, uh, some cases, there won't be uh, any uh, scenery. Uh, but if you can find, uh, and I see it there every now and then, but um, there's X-Plane 7 Global Scenery. 6 is hard to find, but you can use the Global X-Plane 7 Scenery, uh, which is what I've got here. So there's a chance that this scenery that you're looking at is actually for X-Plane 7. Um, but I, the X-Plane 7 version that I have is a DVD and already comes with global scenery and it's a lot more detailed than this, so I don't know. <laughs> Looks like there's an airport right over here. Um, and it's a north-south runway. There's another one right there. It might be this one. I think that one over there is uh, Lewis University. Cessna 172 575 Sierra Papa turn right heading 105 vectors Clau INTL. They are about 7 miles from your current position. So that's probably it right up there. Check our uh, sectional chart here and uh, just take a look. Uh, there's something down there. Yep, we're heading right to it, right to Glau International. Um, we're coming off to the side. This is a north-south runway, so we're going to need to come around a little bit. So I guess we could say this little uh, <laughs> settlement here is Bolingbrook. I like how these planes 
uh, fly. Uh, these were using the blade element theory uh, back during this time, and they they handle uh, just like the X, uh, you know, like X plane ten and eleven. It doesn't feel like a video game, and you know, it feels more like a simulator. Yeah, so the global scenery for this is on a on a set of four CD-ROMs, uh, which the X-Plane 7 global scenery uh, has. Now, I've ordered the X-Plane 6 global scenery, um, and just due to that, you know, pandemic thing that's going on, uh, the guy wasn't hasn't been able to ship it, so... I don't know if the scenery is going to look just like this or not. But I didn't want to keep holding off uh, this tour for that long. I am going to need some global scenery for um, X-Plane 5, so oh, maybe I'll be able to use the X-Plane 6 one on X-Plane 5. And it looks like this airport is very similar to the one on X-Plane 5. The uh, parking is over on the right when it should be on the left, or the east side. <laughs> Lots of schooling. I was trying to break while it was landing. <clears throat> One thing you'll learn about uh, my channel is that we do everything we can to not do go-arounds. Something else you'll learn is that I, I tend to fly a lot of uh, general aviation rather than airliners. Um, but I do do some airliners also. Uh, but the flights here are going to be relatively uh, short. So doing airliners here wouldn't really be a thing. But they can be uh, separate. Separate flights, uh, independent flights, which I've done. There's a series called Killer Light Flights um, that are just they're basically random flights on you know different flight simulators, and um, it's not the whole flight. It's kind of condensed down to uh, about 30 minutes, makes it uh, for easy viewing. Uh, 
So you might want to check that out. Alright, go ahead and uh, park it right over here. Parking brakes on. Seven six seven on short final. Caution white turbulence. Two zero zero at niner. Runway one three left. Clear to land. Clear to land one three left. American forty four heading. I turned off the avionics. You should be turned off. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and, and uh, shut off the plane here because we're gonna switch to a different plane on the next one. So hey, something to look forward to. So here we are at Clow International. Hope you enjoyed this flight uh, back in time uh, with the X-Plane 6. If so, hey, do me a favor and click that like button, that thumbs up button. And leave some comments and share the video because you know what? It helps out. It helps me out and helps out the channel. And the more activity it gets, the more chances people out there will be able to see it. Hey, you never know. Uh, there might be uh, other people like yourself that want to see some of these old X-Plane uh videos like x plane six and five and seven um and they may not even know that it's out there or even to think to search for it so the more you share it the more chances people uh will have to be able to see it and if you're new here why not click that subscribe button and that notification bell because you get to be part of the killer community we're a small community but we're a good community we're a strong community there are some channels that I've seen that have only been up for one, two, three months, and they've got thousand, ten thousand, uh, an insane amount of uh, subscribers. Where I, I think they bloat those numbers somehow. Not here. What you see is exactly what we have. Uh, I'm not using anything to bloat those numbers up or anything like that. Um, the number of subscribers that we have here are true bona fide subscribers. Um, they're all here because they want to be here, and I hope you want to be here too. I hope you want to be part of that uh, that community. We've got regulars here that watch videos um, all the time, and, and it's it's cool. It's great. I like having you know ha I like having you a part of the community and being able to chat with you and and stuff. Oh, hey, look! I came in and did a uh, touch and go. That's uh, first one that we've seen so far in this series. I also do some live streams uh, over on Twitch, so head on over there and give me a follow. Um, I'll do live streams throughout the week, and you know I'll do them. I'll do like old flight simulator simulators like this one, um, up to the latest latest ones, and and they, there's another one. <laughs> they're they're all coming in here, uh, as well as some other games throughout the week. Then I have an Instagram account. That's where I have pictures and photos of projects that I'm working on behind the scenes. Uh, if you want to see what it is that I'm up to, head on over there. Give me a follow. And then Twitter, that's another good place to follow. I know there's kind of uh, a lot of drama and stuff that happens on Twitter. Um, but you don't have to follow that drama if you don't want to. Um, there are some good things to follow there and hey, I'd like to think that our channel is one of them so that way um, you can keep in the know of what's going on with the channel official killer news and announcements plus I'll give you some uh, retweets of things that I think you might find interesting and don't worry I, I I'm not gonna link uh, to any politics or any of that garbage it's you know it might be game related or technology related just something that I come across and I was like hey that's cool I bet my I bet my viewers might like to might like to see that so head over to Twitter and uh, and give me a follow and then there is uh, Snapchat. Yeah, it's just for silly fun. Um, if you'd like to uh, get into a little bit of silliness there and, and, and follow me, hey, it's all good. 
And then if you'd like to donate uh, to the channel and, and help it grow, there's Patreon. And guess what? You get something in return, too. And there's different tier levels uh, for as low as $1 a month, and it goes from there. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it. And I will see you on the next leg of our journey. Have a killer, awesome day.